third and final day at CR Space 2016. Today we take a further look at some of the next generation naval defense technologies. Stiletto is the primary platform in the Maritime Demonstration Program. By Maritime Demonstration Program, Stiletto, our goal, our objective is to bring aboard new or developing systems and technologies and demonstrate them in a relevant maritime environment. Our program is sponsored by ASD r &E, specifically the Rapid Reaction Technology Office, RRTO. We bring aboard technologies ranging from unmanned air surface or underwater vehicles. We bring aboard significant or several uh, command and control type sensors. As you can see from the mast, we have radars, radios, network systems. We can accommodate multiple different maritime technologies and systems on board Stiletto. That one's called Flimmer. It's the Flying Swimmer. It's a combination flying and swimming submarine. The mission is basically to fly over the water, so very high speeds and long distance compared to swimming under the water. Enter into the water, submerge, and swim around locally. So uh, if you take a closer look at it, it has uh, fins for underwater swimming. We use those in the air for stability surfaces. Uh, in this case, uh, a canard in the front for pitch control and a vertical tail on the wings for stability in the, the yaw direction. Uh, I'm the program manager. It's funded by the Naval Research Labs. It's a 6-2 basic research program. We're going on from the swimming propulsion to an underwater sea gliding uh, with buoyancy driven rather than a flapping for the underwater propulsion. All right, Tom, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What uh, do we have here? This is the hypervelocity projectile that the Navy is developing to use in rail guns of the future and to also put into the existing powder guns, the 5 inch and 155 gun systems that the Navy has right now. It's a guided projectile that is SABO encased. And when this is launched, uh, it will be uh, travel down bore and at the moment of muzzle exit, the sabots will separate and then this projectile will then fly to the target and use its guidance systems to guide itself. And if it's launched from a rail gun at 2,000 meters per second, it will fly 100 nautical miles and impact on a target with, with uh, a great deal of precision. This is a Boeing project called Shark. It's an autonomous surface vessel. We're partnered with a company in Silicon Valley named Liquid Robotics. And the brilliant thing about what they've built is it lives at sea for six to 12 months at a time. Boeing is partnered with them. We bring defense electronics and networks and we put it on this platform and it gives us a mobile distributed maritime network that we can, we can use to monitor large areas of ocean. So we listen to the undersea environment, we listen to the RF environment, we're listening to ships and aircraft and submarines, and we're reporting that data uh, via satellite back to commanders on shore. That's what we've already done. What we're doing next is we're integrating this with our undersea vehicles 
and our unmanned aircraft to build a completely autonomous network that works from seabed to space monitoring the maritime environment. It's more effective, it's more affordable, and it provides intelligence that lets us use manned assets, our aircraft, our ships, and our submarines more effectively. So XBlue is an international company. Uh, the headquarters are based uh, near Paris in a city called Saint Germain en Laye. We are based all over the world with more than 12 branches. So today we uh, are very proud to announce uh, the award by the UK Royal Navy uh, to XBlue of uh, 70 Marines M7 to equip the major surface and submarine uh, fleets. This is going to be uh, 70 units over 30 ship sets. This is a unique technology. So inside uh, the Marines M7, uh, the gyroscopes are made uh, with a fiber optical uh, technology. This has given unique features to the Navy in terms of maintenance, reliability and performance. The foreign presence at Sierra Space this year is larger than ever with four international pavilions. Let's check some of them out. Subsea Craft is, uh, is based on the south coast of England, a place called Fareham. Coming to a place like this is, is fantastic for, for Subsea Craft because it allows us to showcase this, um, this unique vessel. It's, uh, it's a company that's been going now for about four years. Um, its, main, its main drive towards producing a craft like this is, is its dual capability. Um, it has a surface stroke subsurface um, capability. Um, on the surface, it can do 240 nautical miles at 40 knots, sea state dependent. On, in the subsurface roll, it does 25 nautical miles with a planning speed of around 6 knots. The subsurface propulsion has a series of batteries that run along the, the length of both hulls that provide 120 kilowatt to the eight 600 volt thrusters. This is the name, the P1, which is a business, indigenous development with Japanese company, Kawasaki Industries. And this is for primarily Japanese self, maritime self-defense forces. This is the first time for us, probably for the Japanese companies, to attend this show. The reason is, it's just Japanese government just opened to export the armament equipment. Of course, we need their approval every time, so that we are just trying to do our first attempt to introduce our aircraft to the world. So we had a certain feedback from the visitors here, so uh, very much pleased that many people show the interest to this aircraft. Yeah, we have a, uh, a presence here in order to uh, advocate on behalf of Australian industry uh, and to present to them an opportunity to gather business relationships here in the US and in the, in the wider uh, sea airspace security sector. This is a, a vibrant area, it's a growth area and we recognise the opportunity here. Uh, we think with, we'll definitely come, be coming back. Yeah. Sea airspace 2016 has now come to a close. Let's hear from Kevin Traver, the exhibition manager. I think, uh, well, by the numbers, it's the absolutely the largest expedition, exhibition we've ever put on. Uh, we had over 15,000 attendees, uh, 24 international delegations joined us here in, in uh, the Gaylord. Um, our entire show, show floor was sold out. Uh, the energy was simply incredible. Uh, we had five heads of Davy from around the globe. Um, and we will see ourselves continue to grow as an exhibition in 2017. We're adding uh, a finished pavilion on the floor next year. 
uh, and that'll be a, a new additional international uh, organization joining us. Um, so we continue to move forward and become the global maritime exhibition for the, the United States Sea Services that we want to be. All right, Kevin, thank you very much and see you next year. Wonderful. Thank you, Xavier.